Hello, welcome back to another episode of eTraining Guys. Today we're going to talk about how to add a Mac to the domain so then we can then discover them in SCCM. So that's what we're going to talk about today and how to do that. So with that, let's get started. Okay, so now I'm over at my Mac. And so one of the first things you want to do is go to your network and you want to make sure you set it to manually and that you have your, um, I picked an IP address that's available, your subnet mask and the router and your DNS server. So that's what I put there. So now what I want to do, once I have that out of the way, I want to go to users and groups and you want to click on login options. You have to click on that, put in your local password. And then you want to click on join and you want to open up the, um, and then you want to click on here. The uh, let's open that up. So when you click on add, and then you want to go ahead and add the domain, and you want to show options here. And so when you click on the administrative, you want to make sure you um, put in your your uh, domain server, your your domain controller. I'm going to put that here. You can put the IP address or the name. I'm going to put the name. I'm going to try the name first. But most likely you'll want to do the IP address. Either should be fine. And then the Active Directory domain. So put in the fully qualified domain. And then click on bind. Now you put in your local account first. And it's going to prompt you to put in your domain credentials. And then this is what I'm going to do here. Go ahead and put in my account, my domain account. Click on OK. That's basically it. So now we got that added to domain. We're going to go ahead and go ahead and minimize that. Go over to my domain controller. And I should see that Mac on the domain. I'm going to open up my users and computers and then you should see it right there and there's my Mac. So now the Mac doesn't have any registry so the only policy that will get applied is when the uh, the login policy to change your policy after so many days so that'll still apply um, and so uh, depending on your domain uh, default domain policy uh, the Mac will prompt you to change your password that's the only thing that will actually work. Um, so um, so I'm going to go ahead and move this to my computer domain just to have it all in the one spot. So now I've got my Mac and my Windows 10. And so now when I go over to SCCM and do a system discovery, I'll bring that over here. And uh, log in. And... Uh, So, and there's my Mac. See, it discovered it. So now it doesn't have an agent right now. I can't push the agent to the Mac, um, but I did create a device collection and it should, let's see if it, uh, go ahead and update the membership. So it should show, um, I, I have one Mac computer inside the collection. And as you can see, the discovery happened and now I have a Mac system inside in my SCCM uh, console. So the next step would be to um, add the client. And so I'm going to show you how to do all that in a separate video because there's some backend components that we need to tweak in order for um, to be able to do things with that Mac, like updates and software deployment and stuff like that. So I uh, just wanted to go over quickly how to add a Mac to the domain and then have it discovered in SCCM as you can see here. And you can see it in my device collection. Again, if you like this video, um, uh, give it a thumbs up if you found this helpful. Please just, uh, subscribe. Um, there's going to be a lot more content, especially in the next couple of weeks. I'm going to start uh, working on Mac management and how to manage those devices within SCCM. Um, I'm also going to bring in some other tools that help with some other things like Casper and uh, Parallels that can integrate with SCCM to do additional things that the SCCM alone can't do. So that's coming. So again, subscribe. Um, like this video. Smash that like button. It helps my channel out. Again, thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye-bye.